What's up, guys? Uh, for those of you who don't know or haven't, you know, seen the Guns and Gadgets uh, video or the uh, Reno May video or any of the other guys who are talking about it, uh, really quickly, I just wanted to go over a concerning portion of the pistol brace ban. I mean, you know, aside from the fact that it exists, because that's very concerning in and of itself, but uh, the other more concerning pieces of it. Uh, number one is that even if you took the brace off, right, uh, if this was a complete pistol and I took the brace off, it could still be considered an SBR simply because of any additional things that I had on the back, right? So if the buffer tube is required for the operation of the gun, that wouldn't count. However, if the buffer tube is not required for the operation of the gun, for instance, um, if it's just for looks or if you use maybe like a 22 conversion kit and the the, the the internals don't actually use the buffer and the buffer spring, then this could be considered an SBR. If you have a folding uh, attachment, or in my case, on this particular weapon, uh, receiver, I have a double point uh, sling attachment. I'm pretty sure based on the rule that they came up with that this, even though it's like an eighth of an inch thick would be considered uh, a extension or um, uh, would make this entire thing an SBR if it was put together. Now, I took the upper off, obviously, so that way it's not a complete firearm because, you know, I'm waiting for the lawsuit to go through and for us to win, especially after the bump stock ban got overturned. Um, so we'll see where that goes. Um, the other portion that is very concerning is that it is a fucking trap. The ATF wants you to take a picture of your fully complete SBR, as they like to call it, uh, and they want you to send that, your fingerprints, basically everything that's required uh, to them to register it as an SBR, and they'll waive the $200, you know, uh, fee. But the most important part of this is that many of you don't know that after, I believe it's 88 days um, of your background check being in limbo, if it's not done after 88 days, it's an automatic denial. And uh, Guns and Gadgets video, go check his video out. They said that they will take enforcement action if you're denied. Let that sink in. Because they can't do it fast enough. And they said, oh, just give us the information. You'll be fine. They don't do their jobs. You go to jail as a felon. That's fucked. Fuck the ATF.